Hi everyone, this is Michelle from My Everyday Wife Life and I'm getting started on my Thanksgiving prep. It's kind of a continuation of my fall prep that I never finished. I never finished everything on my list. Anyway, my, I think my lists are too big. So I'm out here pressure washing this front side walk. I bought this pressure washer um, a couple months ago and like in April. So yeah, the the sub box needing to be done again so I'm out here doing that and uh, yeah I was cleaning the patio the front porch um, and then I decided to get the pressure washer off and I made a mess so I'm gonna have to rinse this off again and was cleaning the windows again and I did this um, in my fall prep before putting out my fall decorations and what that's been six weeks or so so it needs to be done again I have 30 people coming for dinner um, 25 or 30 people coming for dinner this year so I have a lot to do and we'll be eating outside so I need to get the outside cleaned up so today is November 3rd yes one yeah November 3rd <laughs> yeah so um yesterday I cleaned up the front patio that was on my list of things to do um hadn't been done in a while so it is all done and I'll just have to probably do a little maybe touch up before Thanksgiving and I was going to show you um what else I was going to do this week I am concentrating on the outside um, although I am doing a little bit on the inside today because I was outside all day yesterday doing yard work. So, yeah, the lawn still needs to be mowed. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to do it again before, um, Thanksgiving comes, but it's really long right now because our lawnmower is broke. So as soon as we get that fixed. So, I will mow the lawn. So I need to move, I want to move these plants over there. On the end there, they are looking kind of raggedy because they really like the summer weather. So they're looking kind of bad. And I don't like the way they look right there. So they're going to move over there. So yeah, and yesterday I put out this little um, owl thing with Bobby, <laughs> we call it, and um, that I got at Old Time Pottery. And I also got this little um, birdhouse at Oton Pottery too. So I cleaned up this area a little bit. And again, we haven't decided on rocks, what rocks we're putting in here yet. So yeah. And that um, scarecrow is looking kind of sad. I think I might throw that away and go to Michael's and see if they have any left. I saw some um, last week. And I didn't buy them, but um, let me see if they have any left. So, let me show you. so this whole area needs to be cleaned up because we will prob we will be eating outside. Yes, it is 83 degrees today. I'm guessing we are going to have a warm Thanksgiving. Usually, we eat outside anyway. There's um, it's still pretty warm. There was what two years ago. It was cool in the evening. We were able to make a fire. So yeah. But um, we can eat dinner out here. It will be plenty warm. And usually I have used this picnic table. I had a kids table like over here in this area uh, for the kids. And then on the patio I had a table. And I had two tables inside. So that was five tables. I would like to take this table and move it. And have one big long table here. Put um... My folding tables, I have two folding tables and some chairs, and have everybody all eating at the same table. I think that would be a lot more fun. So, um, I started, my husband started cleaning up this area a little bit. It still needs some sprucing up, and this, oh my god, it's such a mess. I don't know, I'm going to do something with this area. That is not going to look nice when company comes over, so I have to do something with all this stuff. And I need to blow that off with the leaf blower and do something with this bin and trim back all these bushes and trim back all this stuff here. So yeah, I'm 
again I'm going to concentrate on finishing up this week and uh, I am going out of town Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, yeah, I have today and tomorrow and Thursday to get this stuff done. I'm just going out of town. I'm going on a girls weekend um, to visit my niece. And so hopefully my husband needs to fix this picnic table this week. And hopefully he'll do that and maybe do some more of this back area. So, well... Uh, so this is my sandbox and you can see there's some weeds growing up in there. Um, my brother-in-law works construction so I'm going to see if I can get him to get me some more sand because the kids will love to play in the sandbox that day. They always like that and I need to trim up here and I'm not sure this bench is really wobbly. I don't know. I'm probably not going to get around to fixing that and I need to do something with the swing so nasty. I don't know how it's got so nasty like that. Oh, there's a hornet's nest on there. Oh, great. Wonderful. Okay, and so clean up the baby swing so the babies can um, swing on there. And this toy box probably needs to be cleaned out. Get rid of some of the broken toys. Maybe buy a few new toys. Um, there will only be five kids. And one of them is a baby, so... That only really makes four. Four kids that will be here instead of the normal 12. Because one family that, well, my nephew and his wife, they have five kids and they are going to Kentucky. So I was going to hopefully try to clean up the garden. I mean, that has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. It just needs to be done. You know, I just want, you know, things to look nice when people come over but I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that. I want you to clean up the fire pit over here a little bit in case <laughs> it might get cool um, that we can bid, build a fire in the evening and I need to think about some seating. I've been wanting to have some benches here and haven't done anything about it. If I don't get around to um, either buying some benches or creating some we're just gonna have to grab chairs and from the patio and sit and around the fire in the chairs. So, um, and you can see yesterday I started trimming back all these stupid pepper trees. I hate these things. Um, there's a fence here, but this behind the fence is part of our yard too. Previous owners put this fence here and there's like a buffer area. What is it, like 20 feet between um, our house and, then, and the house next door? But this actually is part of our land, and all these stupid pepper trees are growing up here. So I got to clean all this up, put it down by the road, and um, so that the yard trash people can come and get that. Um, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit more. I don't know. I think it's probably good enough. It is hot today. I don't know what happened to Florida fall, but this is just ridiculous. So this is not totally necessary, but I would like to go ahead and, um, sorry for the air conditioners on. I hope you can hear me. I want to go ahead and pressure wash these two chairs to make them look a little more decent. And I want to put some flowers in that. I weeded that out yesterday and you can see all the trimmings from the trees that I was able to get in the barrels that need to go out to the road on Monday and all that needs to be cleaned up there make it decent looking and I want to finish pressure washing the rest of the driveway and the sidewalk and I need to clean that up there I know way too much stuff not necessary um, the driveway is not necessary um, but I do want to get at least the sidewalk done because let me show you. You can see down here I did a couple squares yesterday. And I don't know if you could tell the difference on camera. But this is the clean part here, dirty part here. So I did a couple squares um, and I need to finish the rest. So I'm at least going to do that. If I have time, I will do the rest of that. So I was, uh, don't really need to put away my Halloween stuff because 
uh, I didn't put out my Halloween stuff. Just never got around to it. My husband's, I mean, I don't, my kids are, kid is all grown now, so I don't really do Halloween too much. But my husband's birthday is on Halloween, so I kind of like to do something for him. So, you know, it's like celebrating his birthday, but my great nephew's birthday is on Halloween too. And we were, I was at that house all day at his birthday party. So, yeah, never got around to it. So, um, I don't know if there's any more Thanksgiving stuff in here. I'll have to look, but I don't think so. So, that's don't really need to put anything away until after Thanksgiving. I need to clean up this. The garage needs cleaned up again. My husband's been begging me to clean that up. I know it has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. It's just one of those things. If I get everything all cleaned, then I can get relaxed and get the other stuff that I want done. And this won't be in the back of my mind um, thinking I need to clean that up. So I think that was it. I forgot the reason I came in the garage in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> so I have all these tables. I have this big long table. Wait. I have this big long table and this table here. And oh, there's pet there's chairs somewhere. Um there. There's the chairs. Yeah. And that mattress. Yeah. That mattress needs to go to my nephew. He said he wanted it like months ago and I never brought it to him because he doesn't have a truck. So there's, oh, there's a table in my husband's office and a table on the patio. So that's plenty of tables for buffet and that big long table. Um, I butt up against the picnic table to make enough seating. I'm trying to think. I think there's like 18 adults. 20 adults? 20 adults and 5 children. So I need enough seating for 20, I guess. Need to write a list to make sure of the numbers on that one. So here you can say, see the difference. And even this has gotten dirty since I did that in like, what, April or May? So this I never did. And you, look, it is so nasty looking. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. If I get it done, I don't. To laugh at myself and trying to get all these projects done before um, Thanksgiving but you know what it's kind of a good thing when you have events like this get you motivated get you to get things done I mean I used to laugh at my parents actually it was more my dad whenever we would have some kind of event a uh, big dinner or people were visiting he would always have to do some big project now I'm just doing these little projects I'm talking about my dad would do like Oh, I have to replace the roof. Oh, I have to build a new patio. Oh, we have to remodel the kitchen before people, every time before people came over. I'm like, yeah, I pretty much don't need to do those things. Anyway, there's nothing to remodel. I just need to clean up the yard. So, yeah, that's my, um, what I need to do this week for the yard. And next week I will get started on the house. Although I am doing a little bit of the house today because it is too hot out here. Like I said, I was out here yesterday. Yeah, that's enough. So, uh, getting back to my Thanksgiving prep with 30 people. Oh, one last thing that I said in a previous video, and again, never got around to it. My list is way too big of things that I want to do, but that's okay. Anyway, I wanted to do a fall display and get some hay, bay, hmm, bales of hay, or actually bales of straw, and put them here and do a little display. I'm gonna check Michael's. I don't know if I'll go today or not and see if they have those scarecrows on sale, if they have any left. And maybe do a little display here. But that's not a have to thing. Again, I mean, it's what, November 3rd already? I only have a couple weeks of fall left. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother to do that. But I don't know. It's kind of fun. I might do that. So guys, this is my list. Not the list that I wanted to have. I don't know if you could tell from the video, but I'm um, a little panicky. Yeah, so I don't know. I feel I'm totally disheveled, probably because the house is a mess. And I really need to just do the house. I really wanted to put together, I bought a binder and I printed out some stuff from um, 
greenchildmagazine.com and I did start a nice list here but actually the videos did help me so I'm um, I did was able to make an outdoor list of all the things I want to do outdoor and I still need to do the indoor list but um, the reality is yeah I'm gonna make a little binder and have that all put together for you guys and show you my little Thanksgiving binder <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, I need to just go with what I got here. I need to just finish cleaning my house anyway. But I wanted to give you something so that, uh, I don't know. So, I wanted to be able to post something and show you next week my progress. I think I'm going to do uh, an update each week. What's today? Tuesday. Uh, this probably won't be get posted till Wednesday. But, yeah, I have a ton to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get to it and screw my list. I mean, I have my thoughts down of what I want to do, but I just need to get the stuff done. And after I get a bunch of things done and my house in order, then maybe I can not be so panicky and um, be a little more organized of, of my list of what I want to do. Oh, and I forgot to say, too, the other reason I'm panicking is because I am so busy this month. This weekend, I'm going away. Friday, Saturday... Sunday and won't be back till Monday. We're having a girls weekend. I'm going to see my niece uh, for her birthday. My sister, my niece, and her the four kids all under the age of six driving in the car for four hours. Yes, I'm crazy. And my husband's going to be left here alone. So, yeah, he won't feed himself. <laughs> so, I have to get, I don't want to leave him with a messy house. And I want to leave him with some food. So, I got to prepare for that. And then... On the 18th, yeah, going away for five days with my husband to Vegas. He's going on a business trip. So I am going along with him. Then I won't be back until, what, the Monday before Thanksgiving? Aha! Yeah, I'm crazy. 30 people coming to dinner. I'm crazy. Well, this is what <laughs> I got put together, my Thanksgiving prep. Uh... Yeah, so um, I will see you next week, and hopefully I will be a little more organized and a little less panicked. Maybe I can relax this weekend when I go to my niece's. Enjoy your day.